Hello there everybody, Shocker Nation 1000 and playing for duty, welcoming you back to another episode of Scooby-Doo First Fights. In the last episode, we did level 1 in here of Rocky Bay, and discovered another monster known as the Lobster Mark II. We met Captain Bluebeard and his, um, friend, known to be a diving instructor, who actually told us to go see Willy the Whaler, um, somewhere, but not tell him that Captain Bluebeard sent us to go and investigate his um, knowledge. But this time we're going to be doing level 2 in the lighthouse. And we're still controlling Fred and Daphne. Why wouldn't Bluebeard want us to mention his name to the whaler? Alrighty then, so, which is obviously going to be doing this right here, just going to be focusing on crossing the path. We found people. One was super cute too. Well, that was actually good. Cutscene. Anchor fishermen. They're going to ambush us and then they just get dropped into the sea. <laughs> Alright. So it's just going to be going down. Not that kind of down. Uh, Alright. So we'll punch these um, crabs. Just grab the Scooby Snacks in the meantime. Um, is there something of importance down this way? No, don't look at it. Alright. <coughs> Ugh, bless me. Right, okay then. I don't know why um, the bridge actually shows like dust. Because it kind of gives the impression that it's about to be destroyed by our weight any second. But it actually doesn't. I don't know if you actually noticed that in the last episode when it was walking across certain bridges. But, anyway, uh, let's just beat up these things more and more. Just carry on down the pathway. Break even more stuff to make our path even easier. Hmm. I guess there wasn't another line after what um, Fred said about the Scooby Snacks. Hey Daphne, over there by the winch, a guy with a harpoon. My guess is that would be Willie the Whaler. Probably, and we've got five keys to find, apparently. But, new enemy! One has to look cool when those are making a mockery of himself. They don't actually say the name of these enemies, but um, I'm just gonna randomly give these guys a name and call them the the um, urchin rollers because they basically do look like urchins. And you have to defeat all these guys because these guys all carry a key. There we go. We got rid of them all. Now we've opened up the path to what will possibly be known as Willy the Whaler. So we just run along down the drawbridge. Well, gangplank or whatever. And we'll interact with him. Sneaking up on an old whaler like that. Sorry, we didn't mean to frighten you. Wasn't frightened. Got nerves of steel. We've come to ask you about the ghostly cruise ship and the sea creatures. If you ask me, that careless captain's in the hill. Young upstart ran his ship in the mine five years ago. She sunk just out past the bay. Never recovered. What about the ghostly cruise ship? The best view would be from the lighthouse. Can't miss it. 
These days, it's the only house with the light on. <laughs> darn kids, darn Bluebeard. What a sick me ship. <laughs> well, I'll show him what for. Ooh, that sounded a bit suspicious at the... Yeah, and I probably bet this one might be one of them because you notice that um, Willie the Whaler jumped to surprise, jumped to surprisation of us, like asking him a question, and he ended up dropping pearls. And I think you can tell that those pearls might indicate an important clue for something. Can't say for definite, but. We'll never know unless we get further into the mystery is all I can say. Well, all anybody can say to be truthfully honest with you because how will you know a mystery unless you don't solve it? There we go. So I think we'll just go up down this way. We've got a cannon over there. And we got more of those urchin munchers. Oh, hang on. Ah, there we go. Bust open the gate by using a cannonball. Good thing nobody was on the other side, otherwise that would have been a real, real mess. Whoa! Okay, we've got another new enemy. Sea creatures. Could have came up with a more suitable name than just sea creatures, but I'm not going to question it. They do have a shield attack, so they can block your attacks with the shield that they carry. They kind of look, well, like mermen in a way, because they're walking on feet, and they have, they have hands or something. Oh, there's the cannibal we fired earlier on. I can hear a Scooby medallion somewhere. Right, up here, okay. Right, so we now climb up this wall. Get rid of these um, urchin rollers. There's another fish guy over there. And we'll just move the cannon along as Daphne is distracting that guy. Oh my god, that's a freaky face! Right, there we go. Just do a couple of ground pounds and that should kill them. There we go, almost there. There we are. So now we can proceed further onwards and we're going to be introduced to more sea creatures, obviously. But these sea creatures are going to have a trick of their own. They're now going to be firing cannons at us. And it's, whoa, up to us to make sure that they do not send us into the sea like we just did right there. Oh man. Oh, oh no. That's how we have to defeat these guys in order to make the levers show up. Because that certainly looks to be the case. Alright then. Right, let's defeat some enemies once again. Because apparently that's all we seem to do every now and then. There we go. Some more enemies down over here. Yeah, there we go. Defeat all the enemies to make one levers show up. 
This lever will make that happen. Here's lever number two, just got to get rid of the seaman. Of course, all of Daphne cares about is her own hair. <laughs> right, there we go, we'll pull this lever. That will make those platforms show up again. We did actually notice that there was a little pathway that we could walk along. Oh, never mind. That was just for display. Alright. So now we'll jump along this way. Open the way for us. Uh, can't go down that way. So we'll have to go along this way. To fail a simple jump. Right, there we go. Wait. Yeah, you can't actually knock these guys back, but yeah, we, we defeated them anyway. Right, pull the lever, and that should raise up the gangplank for us to actually cross to the lighthouse. But I'm going to go over this way real quick, because if you pull this lever, you get a trophy. Yeah, that can be an easy trophy to miss, that one, if you completely and utterly forget about the cannon. Well, there we go. Inside the lighthouse we go, and... Oh. Not so inside the lighthouse. Whoops. Oh, screaming medallion. Ah. Oh. Alright, 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 fine. We'll go down the legit way if we must. What? It? Okay. What is it with these invisible walls? So, Willie the Whaler's ship being destroyed by Captain Bluebeard? Kind of strange how he comes to that conclusion, to be honest. Oh. This is actually it. Right, there we go. Yeah, because we've got a propeller over there. Right, imagine if you had these look at, uh, these enemies in Legend of Zelda. Imagine what uh, they would be called then. Yeah, these obviously do look like um, a shipwreck of Willy the Whaler. I've right, got more crabs to deal with. There we go. We'll just proceed further onwards. Got more anchor fishermen. From in the last episode. Right, there we go. Just get rid of those guys. And then proceed further onwards. We've got a switch over there, which I believe is obviously required, so we're going to have to go down that way. Oh, hello. Something's of an importance in the distance over there. Right, there we go. Uh, oh, okay. Right, so we're lowering the um, boat for us to jump across. That's good to know. Right, bye. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Did not mean to do that. There we go. Screw medallion. Ow. Okay, there we go. We can now proceed further onwards. Got to watch out for the cannon there. Yeah, I'll say Cannon is not the official name of that guy. Right, so we just proceed on up here. Ugh. In case you're wondering why with a yawn, I actually woke up pretty early in the morning. I woke up at like 10 to 7 in the morning today. Even though I wasn't actually scheduled to do work. I guess it's probably because I just generally couldn't sleep. Right, we'll pull the lever. 
Open up the way, just leave those enemies alone, and we've got some more clues to find. I bet some of them are to be found inside furniture. Yep, there's one. I think number two is to be found somewhere up here. Right, come on, come on. There we go. Wait, that's that's puzzle piece number two? I thought I were in number three. All right, never mind. Uh, right, let's just climb up. Right, there's the third one. We'll pull the lever to allow Fred to um, cross. There's the fourth piece. Skewing medallion up there. Okay, and final one will be in one of these, won't it? Supposed to be the last one. Yep, I thought so. Bag of pearls. This is a very expensive bag of pearls. You found it in a warehouse near Seth. Right, don't ask me why I'm still continuing hitting boxes. I guess I just don't really like doing those boxes. But there's Seth again. Look, it's Seth. Hi, Seth. Hello again. You kids still wandering around? Rocky Bay is a dangerous place at night. You don't seem too bothered about it. You could say I know my way around this town at night. I'm sure you do. <laughs> Guess you've seen the ghostly cruise ship, right? Most every time it comes. That cursed ship's been a mystery for centuries. It haunts the towns all along this coast. Chills the spine. Well, it sure spooked the locals. What really spooks them is the giant sea monster that lives at the heart of the ghostly cruise ship. I've seen it crush a boat in half with just one claw. You're awfully brave to come here anyway. <laughs> You're foolish. Nah, I won't let it scare me, though. Anyway, oh, there you go. Afraid your suspicion there. Hey, you look strong, Ooh. Minnow. Can you give me a hand with these boxes? Sure. <laughs> Thanks for that, little buddy. See you later, Sea Flower. Sea Flower? Oh. <laughs> Oh, Daphne, when do we ever learn to not? <laughs> Honestly. So we get asked if we can, like, help Seth move these boxes around. But you notice that Fred was a bit suspicious with Seth. Because we noticed the box of pearls and we found a clue containing a bag of pearls. So, that could lead to a suspicious activity with him. You never know. I mean, from one thing I can honestly say, there have been a few Scooby-Doo episodes where Daphne uh, was all flirty with a man, only to then end up finding out that the man was actually the culprit the entire time. You're not supposed to be eating with the suspects? Going on to the ghostly cruise ship now, and I need your help. We just bumped into Seth. Oh, dear. Alright. Right, there you go. The fish is gone. Right now, we change the thread. And we can move this lever around. And that will lower this boat for us. Which I think we actually need to use in order to end the level. We just need to go to the other side and just do the exact same thing. There's a hole down there, you've got to be careful with that. Oh, 
There we go. Oh my god, really? Okay, there we go. That's the end of the level, and of course, the end of the episode. Next time on Scooby Doo First Fights, we will see just how Shaggy and Scooby will be able to help Fred, Daphne, and Thelma with the clues. Hey, we've had all the Scooby medallions, nice. Okay, see you guys then.